In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified for more amazing tutorials that are yet to come. Okay, so before beginning, make sure that your Filmora version is 9.1 and above. Okay, so now in the welcome tab, change the project aspect ratio to 21 ratio 9 cinema. Now click on the new project. Okay, so now import a video into the software. Now if I click on the video, then it plays at full screen. But if I drag it onto the timeline, then you will notice the side black bars. Well, these are here because our main project is 21 ratio 9, but our video is 16 ratio 9. So to make our video also 21 ratio 9, simply double click on the video and here in the transform section, adjust the scale until you won't be able to see any black side bar here. Okay, now if I go full screen, then you can able to see these faded up and down video portions. These are showing the amount of video that is not included in it. Okay, so now our work is done. You can export this into a video. Okay, so once again in the export section, you can notice that there are these cinematic black bars present on our output video. That is exactly what we want. Okay, so if I want to change the project expect ratio from 21.9 to 16 ratio 9, and if you were to scale the video to the default ratio, then here you can see that it fits the project again. Okay, so the tutorial is complete now. You can use this to create cinematic crop video easily without any worry. But if you can able to spare two more minutes, then I want to explain as to why I taught you this way of using the 21 ratio 9 instead of using the 21 ratio 9 traditional PNG image. Okay, so we know that to make a 21 ratio 9 black bar, people usually use a black bar PNG and voila, they are done. But you see, the problem with that type of cropping is that if you were to play your video on YouTube at full resolution, then it's completely fine, it's okay. But let's say that if you downscale the quality, then you will notice that those sleek black looking lines are now looking like a blurry mess. But if you were to use the way of cropping that I showed before and then if you were to play a video with lower quality, then you will notice that the blurriness is only affecting the main video. But our black lines are looking as sharp as they can be. The idea behind this is to actually make a widescreen video and not just overlaying one. Okay, so if you were to make a normal PNJ21 ratio 9 crop, then you aren't actually making a cinematic video. You are just hiding the portion of the 16 ratio 9 and it just looks messy and not appropriate. I hope you understood my point here. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos like this for you. Till then, see you later.